Hello everybody, I'm Eleni Kogicidou and I will present you our work dealing with normalization of uh, 16th and 17th century texts in French and geographical name entity recognition. In this presentation, we will see a brief context of our project, the definition of our work problem, as well as, as, well as the challenges to overcome and what kind of geographical name entities we are seeking in this project. We will next present our corpora, the approaches and our contribution with an enhanced approach, the evaluation results and the discussion, the use cases and finally our co conclusion. Uh, at the end of this presentation you can find our uh, main references. In the context of Cité de Dame project, which aims to highlight the knowledge and the role of women creators in the cities among centuries, the purpose of our project is to automatically extract urban location in French texts written by women uh, from 16th to 20th century and uh, help to design guided works of cities in the footsteps of these women who wrote about the places, lived, work and created about. Uh, the definition of our problem is uh, how to automatically retrieve urban location uh, in non modern French texts. In fact, uh, state of art algorithms uh, are easier to deal with uh, modern texts or uh, for after 18th century period. Um, indeed, um, most of uh, name entity recognition tools are based on modern text corpora like encyclopedic, scientific or journalistic texts uh, which are relatively longer with uh, well-structured sentences, proper use of uppercase and uh, no misspelled words. Uh, indeed, uh, name entity recognition for texts from 16th to and 17th century in original versions uh, and or in prose uh, or even in verse are harder to process because of uh, an extreme graphic uh, variability that we observe um, also the archaism of uh, one single word or a uh, flexional system which uh, is not yet established or even uh, the accentuation which are not uh, established uh, yet. But what is a geographical name entity for the project? We focus on geographical name entities corresponding to proper nouns for example, Chasteau de Florence, Florence Castle, we only label Florence and uh, we do not consider as geographical name entities, name entities which are uh, gra geographical proper nouns inside a person name. Uh, so, person, geographical entities describing person name like uh, Monsieur de Montigny or uh, Roi de France uh, or Roi d'Espagne are not considered are geographical name entities. The corpora used for the purpose of this uh, project are a set of three annotated texts in their original, manually and modern, automatically modernized version. Our corpora are composed by memoirs of Marguerite de Valois using a modernized version uh, provided by Elian Vieno and the original version by François Geza available on the French wiki source. Both uh, Benaris of Racine and Don Garci uh, of Moller are from parallel this set uh, corpus by adding uh, geographical tags from Carto this set. The automatically uh, modernized version is a result of um, an alignment software um, created by Jonathan Panos during his internship. Uh, the system uses an original version and it's modernized in order to learn the differences and then modernize if it is necessary. 
it will first create transformation and wall transformation dictionary from parallel descent and uh, then it will create transform character transformation rules learned by the same corpus. So for its wall, world which doesn't exist in a more reference dictionary morphology, it will try the transformation dictionary or transformation rules and it will keep the obtained work if it exists in modern dictionary of friends. Here is an illustration of our corpus versions. Uh, we first have uh, our original version, so we can observe uh, some irregularities like the S long. Then we have an automatically modernized version with the ABBA and we still can observe uh, that uh, the word Armes is not modernized. And finally, our manually modernized version of uh, the sentence. We develop a tool uh, to automatically compare uh, name entity recognition systems and uh, we develop Jenner a uh, tool uh, which is composed by three modules and uh, aims to harmonize, compare and evaluate five geographical name entity recognition tools uh, which are using different approaches. But um, first of all we we had to, to specify uh, some uh, needs uh, which are said um, at the beginning, uh, which are uh, the necessity of uh, a compatibility um, in order to, evaluate, to automatically evaluate our output. Um, harmonize the output since uh, Every tool has his own format um, and none of them have the same. Uh, the capability to, to process several texts at once. Um, we also need a, a toolkit uh, for pre-processing or cross-processing uh, texts like uh, splitting log texts, gather them, gathering them together after splitting uh, or uh, make a partial normalization of text. Uh, we also have to, had to guarantee a naming uh, file and directories uh, which will be produced uh, in order to enable an automatic evaluation and uh, finally uh, strictly an alignment, strictly a perfect alignment um, between uh, the detective ge ge geographical name entities uh, in uh, the reference and the hypothesis texts. Geoner uh, system was uh, developed uh, to extract and evaluate uh, geographical name entities calling Kazen, Coronal P, Perdido, Sem, and Spicy Tool. Kazen is uh, a deterministic method integrated on Unitex with a, an open source um, uh, cross platform multilingual lexicon grammar based corpus processing suite. Uh, it uses an um, analysis cascade in, composed by multiple traducers and lexical resources, also patterns, and uh, finally a synthesizer. Uh, to transform output in TAE format. Core NLP uh, is a set of uh, natural language processing um, tool um, in Java and such as uh, part of speech tagging, uh, name and recognition, dependency parsing, etc. Uh, we used the uh, Stanford uh, version 4, which is based on linear chain conditional random fields sequence models. Perdido is um, extracting is an hybrid approach, is approach combining both post tagging cascade transducer application as well as querying web resources for data. It also gives the possibility to visualize geographic information and uh, it aims to extracting and retrieving displacements from textual documents. 
system uh, is a supervised machine learning system based uh, on conditional random film fields. We use the an online version um, through automatic queries with a Selenium library in Python. And finally, SPICE, uh, an NLP library in Python, uh, providing convolutional uh, neural network models for post uh, text categorization, name, entity recognition, and dependency parsing. Here is uh, our um, output format for each uh, for each tool. So, cousin use a, a formal day after a synthesizer, core NLP in EO format, Perdido in XML, SAM in HTML, SPICY in the format EOP. After harmonized the output, we, uh, we achieve a simple place name tags, uh, so we'll transform every different format for every different tool in the same format. We also provide um, a normalization and pre-processing step because we, we, we realized that uh, it's difficult to handle verses properly for most of the tools. So uh, we transform uh, uh, uppercase characters in the beginning of each verse and also, we transform special characters like uh, as long and or uh, ampersand um, into the text. So, uh, to describe our uh, uh, uppercase normalization, we consider in the pre processing step uh, that. Um, Every after every comma or uh, every no uh, no punctuation sign at the end of the line, if the 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 word at the beginning of uh, the next line is uh, um, a name entity, it will stay in uppercase. Otherwise, we will transform it in the in a lower case. To do that. We uh, we use uh, Cousins dictionaries, Cousins name entity dictionaries, Prolex Unidex unto uh, Quantic and uh, Prolex Prolex Unitex best of to to fra Quantic. Once uh, we we run our script and get our hypothesis file, so files from every tool. We, uh, we proceed to the evaluation. So general evaluation uh, is a model uh, implemented in order to automatically calculate the precision recall and F measure for its output. Uh, the script will compare a reference text file and every hypothesis file output. Both of them, of course, uh, strict, uh, strictly aligned at sentence level, uh, thanks to pre-processing uh, scripts applied uh, at the beginning. So, uh, after applying uh, the evaluation script, we will get um, some uh, files, uh, text files, with um, with uh, an hypothesis, the hypothesis and the name of uh, every tool, plus the name of the corpus, uh, and the false negative, false positive, and true positive for every tool compared to the reference file. We will get also uh, a CSV file, which uh, uh, we will summarize uh, the results of the evaluation. And uh, finally, another file with um, uh, the description of every file used to calculate our evaluation. After applying a general evaluation script, uh, we get uh, the first results of uh, these five uh, tools. 
And uh, we can observe that the chasm gets best results for precision uh, and also that uh, coronal P and Kazan get uh, best results for recall and uh, also uh, finally Kazan gets a uh, best F measure score for uh, manually modernized text. So Kazan, uh, choosing Kazan uh, it uh, it was anything but a random choice to enhance our approach. So because it gets higher precision scores, it's easy to access and modify it and output. It lets us also the possibility to control uh, processing steps. Geona Repair is always a tool to enhance Kazan's output by mixing up uh, some uh, new graphs uh, using Kazan's already exist, existent um, graphs and adding lexical resources like Dictex Cities FR, uh, for friends, um, new entries inside graphs and uh, as we work uh, at the post-processing um, results with post-processing results uh, obtained by Kazan we uh, denote uh, this step like uh, Kazan plus air, air for repair. Here is an example of Kazan plus air graph. It's a graph uh, which, which um, will replace misplaced placement, place names um, in order to uh, modify the tags and uh, and, uh, and attribute person name if it uh, if it uh, it is necessary. So king of France, if France is tagged with place name, it will be person name king of France. Another example uh, of cousin plus graph is um, is a graph which uh, will uh, find uh, person name tags. A word or something uh, like D uh, and apostrophe and uh, a place name and it will uh, correct it by uh, by first name so it will uh, gather the two uh, tags together to create a first name. Global evaluation results were calculated to the six tools output and as expected, rule based methods will generally get better precision. Kazan plus Air obtains the best F measure for all types of corpus versions, and we suggest that using other tiers from this time period it will improve even more the results. Most methods obtain uh, better results on the uh, automatically and uh, even better on manually modernized version. Uh, it will be interesting to calculate a confidence score by, uh, by using the retrieved uh, entities uh, found by several methods. It will be also interesting to combine uh, the results uh, using a machine learning algorithm. In the view of an application, it will be uh, to add a mapping tool to remove or refine name, place name tags uh, from analyzed text. To conclude this presentation, we suggest that this is useful to apply modernization techniques for this time period test. It's also interesting to compare these uh, techniques with alternatives consisting in training statistical mod methods. Uh, also, it is interesting to test whether text nor normalization has a positive impact in uh, uh, an active learning method. Uh, our final our corpus, including geographical name entities tags, is freely available in GitHub to test and develop uh, alternative methods. And we will soon add um, other analyzed texts written by women uh, in the context of a city done project. Here are uh, some references. Thank you for your attention.